Welcome back everyone to another tutorial series on how to make a Clash Royale like game in Unity. So in this one right here we're going to start off with the login scene. We're actually going to start getting into doing some uh, play fab. Um, so we're going to create a empty game object. Make sure that this is reset. And we'll call this the login manager. Right on here we're going to create a new script called login manager manager and we'll put that into our managers folder let it compile real quick okay so we'll open up the login manager Okay, so in here, we're going to create a few different variables in here. Serialized field. Uh, the first one is going to be just a private list of game objects. And we'll call this menus. And this is going to hold the login screen and the uh, register screen. Uh, so the next one we need is we need a couple inputs. So again, we'll do a serialized field. We'll do the private. And we need a UI up here. So we'll copy this line and we'll type in UI at the end. So this is going to need the input field. And we'll call this the login uh, username. Copy these up. Um, paste a couple down here. This would be the password. Password. And down here is going to be the register stuff. Reg. Um, stir. So the other things that we need for the register is a username, an email, a password, and a confirm password. Okay, and that's all of our variables that we're going to need. Um, so now we're going to need three different functions in here. We'll need a public void login. We'll need a public void um, register. And a public void uh, change menu. And this is going to need a index of i. OK, so that is that for right now. Uh, we're going to come back to that one. We will also need a the game functions because we need to create another function in here. I'm going to put this right at the top. Public static void change menu. This will need a game object array called menus and an index of i. So in here what we're going to do is we're going to do a for loop. So we're going to type in for tab 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 over to length menus dot length and that actually supposed to be ID not I and then we say uh, menus at I dot set active we're gonna use that one line uh, if statement again uh, so if I is equal to I uh, ID then we'll return true else will turn false. And if you don't remember exactly what this line does, it is just that that's our condition for that if statement. Um, if that's returning true, we're going to put a true in here. If it's returning false, we're going to put a false in there. That's all it's really doing. 
Um, so what this is going to do is we're going to pass in this array of menus with an ID and then we'll iterate through them and turning them on and off depending on if it's equal to the ID or not. Okay, so that is that function. Um, these will be filling out a little bit later. So we'll go back into Unity. And all that is fine. Go into Player, right click in Player, and create a new folder called PlayFab. Um, we're also going to cr uh, create another folder in here, and we'll call this uh, game info, something like that. It's just where these cards and all that kind of stuff is going to go into. So in here, we're going to create a new C sharp script, and we'll call this account info. And we'll go ahead and reload that. Okay, uh, that's probably that one. Yep. Okay, so in here, um, this is going to be where all of our account info is getting stored. Since we're using PlayFab, we need to type in PlayFab up here. And we're also going to need to use um, PlayFab.ClientModels. And that's going to house all the client models that we're going to be using. Um, so the first thing we need is a... Um, uh, that does not need to be serialized. So just a prop full uh, static account info. We'll call this instance. And then this is also instance with a capital T, a capital I. Uh, we are going to need a void awake and we'll say if instance does not equal this um, instance equals this um, and here we're also going to put on do not destroy on load and inside of here we're going to just put the game object so this is just telling you do not destroy this. We want this in future uh, scenes. Now we won't need a start or a update in this in this one. Um, and the other thing we're going to need is we're going to make this serialized, and then we do the prop full again. Uh, we're going to need a get combined. Um, combined get get player get player combined info result payload. That's a mouthful. We'll call it info. Um, and all this is doing is when we actually get our player combined info, we're going to store it in this variable, and that's going to hold all of our playfab information. Okay, so that is that one right there. Um, so now we're actually create our first uh, playfab function, and we're going to do a login. So that's the first. Um, that's the second thing that we're going to do. So let's do the register first. Doesn't matter which one we do first, since it doesn't really matter. Um, and for the register, we're going to need a couple strings so string uh, username string um, email and string password okay um, so for the register one We'll type in register register playfab user request and 
I totally spelled that one wrong. There we go. Uh, we call this request equals a brand new one. And we do need to put the semicolon at the end of it. Um, so how a how an API call is used in here, we need a result, a request, a result, and then an error function. Um, so right here, this is the request. So it's going to need a couple things. So if you hit uh, control space bar, these are the different things that we can use. Um, the ones that we definitely need is this title ID. Um, We want that email. We call that email. Uh, we want that username. And we want the password. Uh, where we're getting this title ID is actually going to be from playfab settings dot title ID. That's how we're getting that one. Another one to note is display name. And we can set that to anything at this point, um, or we can set it to nothing and have them change it later on how um, Clash Royale actually works. Um, so the next thing we need to do is we need to create a, uh, just a void on register and inside of here we're going to do a register uh, playfab user result and we'll call this result so this is what is going to happen if our little check is true so we'll create that check right here and we'll type in playfab client.api dot register Playfab user, we want to pass in that request. We want to pass in that function for the register. And then we're also going to pass in the um, error. Put a semicolon at the end. So let's create that error message. Uh, we'll just put it right in our game functions. Right down at the bottom is fine. Void um, on API, API error. Uh, we're also going to need to have using Playfab in here. Well, we might put in some other stuff in there later for Playfab, but for now this is fine. And then we'll just type in, I think it's just Playfab error. Yeah, we'll call that error. And all we're going to do is we're going to do a uh, debug dot um, log error. Um, we'll do something like, we'll just do the error. We can put some more checks in there or more detailed message, but that is fine for right now. So at the end of here, we can do uh, game functions. dot um, on API error and what's that complaining about oh because this is a static and this is not a static um, we can make this static and that should get rid of that uh, the other thing we can do is we can put instance in front of it and that can also get rid of it either way uh, it doesn't really matter uh, let's see so on register we're just going to say debug.log um, registered with and then we'll put the result dot playfab ID. So each person gets a playfab ID and that's how playfab recognizes them. Um, so we'll just return that. Um, and that's going to be it for the first uh, function. So we're going to make two.
two summer ones. So why not just copy them? This is going to be the login. And this one is going to be the on login. Login, yep. And then this is the on login. Um, and then instead of this, we want to say log in with playfab request. That's going to need that. It's not going to need the email, just the username and password. And then this is also going to be the login with playfab. And we need to change this as well. Login with playfab request uh, result. Right. Let's just type that over. Log in with Playfab. Where is my Playfab result? I just log in result. Um, this is going to be log in. Login with. Um, okay, so now we're going to need a third one, which is going to be a public static um, get count info. Not the request. Uh, we need to avoid here. And then this is going to be the get player combined info request. Request is equal to a new one. Now this one has a lot of different things in it. Um, but to do this, we're going to need one other one, which is the params. Uh, we'll just call this info. Uh, maybe ram info just to make sure we're not getting it mixed up with anything else so similar thing so these are all the different parameters that we're going to use that we can use um, I'm just going to bring over the ones that I already have saved to make sure we get the right ones so we get the uh, title data the inventory the count information the currency, the profile, the um, statistics, the user data, and the user read-only data. So those are the ones that we're going to get. Um, and that's just setting it to true to make sure that we are sending these. Um, there are a few others hitting control spacebar will bring them up. Um, we don't really care about the characters right now. And then these are just the names or keys of a dictionary, which we're not going to use. So in here, we will say the playfab ID. Um, we're going to want to actually pass in this playfab ID. String playfab ID. So let's pass that in. And the other thing is the info request parameters, and we call that param info. Okay, so we'll get rid of these two, just make it a little bit neat. And then we'll do that playfab client.api, um, and this is get combined, get player combined info. Yeah, there it is. And we need that request, the info, and the um, game functions dot API. So we're just missing that little one right there, that uh, middle function. So we'll create that down here. On um, got. Info. 
Sure. And then that is going to be um, get combined or get player player combined result. We'll call this result. And in here, that's where um, this thing's going to come in handy. That info. So we're going to say info is um, instance dot info is equal to result dot the payload. And just making sure that there was anything else in that one that I need to do. Um, just another uh, debug statement, just to make sure that this is, is going off how it should be doing it. And we'll just say updated account info. Cool. Okay. So now this one will get the actual info that we want. We want to put that into here. Uh, this one will be our login, and this one will be our register. So we come back to our login manager, and we're going to fill these out. Um, so this one right here is that game functions dot change menu. We'll pass in menus. But remember, we created as an, a list, not an array. So let's we'll type in dot to array. And then we want to pass in the i value. So that's that one. Very simple. And in this one, we're going to type in account info dot login. Okay, so it needs a username, does not need that email. So let's get rid of that. So it needs the username. So we have the username as in login username dot text. Um, and it also needs the password, which is login password dot text. So that's that one. And then similar on this one, account info dot register uh, username, make sure we use the register one. Uh, then it's the email. And then the password. Uh, for the confirm password, we're going to make that check right here. And we're going to say if confirm uh, password.txt is equal to um, register password.txt. We'll run that. Um, we can put a debug error log here saying passwords do not do not match. So that's them. That's that. If we go back into Unity. Um, go to those two real quick, bring them back up, make sure there's no problems with them. There we go. Okay, so bring it back into Unity again. finishing compiling. So now we have all these and this menu right here. Um, so we're going to create our canvas. Put this right into our uh, Unity canvas. Uh, we'll create empty game object. We'll call this login. And just make it play around with these values in a bit. We'll create another one in here. And we'll do a, I think it's a vertical layout group. Okay. 
and in here we're going to need a horizontal layout group. So on this vertical one, we'll let it uh, decide all that stuff. We'll play with these values in a second. Uh, this is going to be the login, or this is going to be the uh, username. And in the username, we're going to need two things, a text for the label and a input field. Okay. Again, we'll set these to here. And we'll create a duplicate of it. And this is the password. Now, obviously, we don't want it to be that big. So we'll scale this down a little bit, make it a little more, uh, looks a little bit better. We'll take all the text the actual text, bring it down to a dark, darker black. I'll bring it up to like say 20-ish. That looks fine. Um, we can center it. There we go. Uh, we can go through all this, make it look neat and nice. Um, that's just gonna work for now. Just wanna change this to username change this to password okay um, the other thing we need in here are third one and this is going to be the commands and we'll need two buttons button one and there's button two we just need to put the horizontal on here as well and set those up as well go back to login increase that a little bit more we can play with all those values uh, a little bit later uh, this is going to be the uh, here register And this is the login button. And we'll drag this. Uh, we'll just dock it to the bottom. And then slide it up. Okay, so there is the login screen. Login. Drag that into our menu. So that's our first one. And then it's going to need those references to the inputs. So here is the login username and login password. Login username login password. There we go. Uh, so the next thing we want to do is we want to duplicate this and hide the original. And this is going to be our register page. Now our register page is not going to look similar um, since we're going to have to need to add in a few more. So we'll duplicate the top one and drag these up here. So the first one will be not the username. Um, but the email. We'll call this email. We'll call this r underscore email. Uh, this will be the actual username. This will be the r underscore username. Username. And then this will also be the username. And then the bottom two will be the password. password and r underscore password and for the last one we have um, confirm password 
r underscore confirm password and confirm password. Okay, uh, as far as the commands, uh, button one will be cancel. And button two will be register. Again, let's take all the text. Bring it up to say 25, middle, middle, and dark. Okay, just to make sure that that's actually correct. It's more for the um, commands. Um, we're going to need to put everything into there. So we're dragging register. So register is our number two. And then we need all of these ones. So email, uh, username, password, and confirm password. Now the last thing to do is just hook up our commands. So this was our cancel. Let's actually type that in. And then this um, cancel, click on here, drag in that uh, login manager and do login. And that was change menu to zero. Uh, this was register. Drag this in, log in, uh, register. Register is all set up. Go into login. Commands. This was uh, register, which is also just a um, just a change menu. Change menu, and then we type in a one here. And then this is the login. And the same thing, drag that in and log in. Okay. Um, we're going to create another empty, zero it out. And this would be the account info. And drag that on there. So here is what we're going to be getting. So here's all the account info, the ID, the username, the title info, which has a display name, um, some private info, which is the email. If you link to Facebook, Esteem, or all these, any, any of these other ones, that's all in there. The inventory, uh, there's the characters, um, the stats, and the profile, which has the uh, virtual currencies and the uh, statistics and the link outs. Um, also some notification stuff. We won't be getting into most of the stuff. Um, mostly we're going to be worried about is the ID. Um, maybe that display name. Um, the, uh, statistics. Um virtual currencies and the inventories. There's some basic stuff just like that. Okay, I will go back into Unity. There is a few things that I forgot to do. One, we need to call that um, get account info. So we'll say account info dot get account info result dot playfab ID and I'm pretty sure I don't need that actually yeah that is fine and then the level manager dot load level and it's that ID of the next one which is we don't have yet we have the loading scene um, So this is going to be the login scene, 
loading scene and main scene. Um, we'll move this down to three, two, one, and zero. Uh, so we'll go back to here, and we want game constants dot uh, main scene. We go back into Unity, and we'll update our build settings over here. So this was at the bottom, main scene, game scene, loading scene, login scene. Cool. Save that off. Um, go into the PlayFab thing. Um, PlayFab window, if it's not there, it's window, PlayFab, um, editor extensions. That'll bring up this uh, thing right here. And we're gonna make sure that this is set to whatever our studio name is, our title ID, and make sure this is unity.www. Okay, we can get rid of this for now. And we'll click on play. So here we go. We can type in our username, our password, we can go over to the register, and we register right in here. Um, for example, my email at email.com. Um, put the username as my username, and we'll do the password as in my password, but it is actually showing up. Uh, we'll cover that in just a second. And we'll do my password again. We'll click on register. And there we go right there. <clears throat> um, so we're going to go back into all of our passwords. So all of these ones right here. We'll come down to standard and password. So now when we type into them, we'll get the stars instead of anything else. So we'll just type in here and we see that we get stars. So now if we type in uh, my username and my password, and we click on login, we'll get that real quick, the quick little loading scene, and we're into the next main scene. So here's that main scene that we had before, and we have the account info and this player uh, playfab HTTP. Uh, don't really worry about this one, it's just something that they put in there for all their calls. And we go into the info, we will see there is the playfab ID, there is the username, we have no display name, there is the email, uh, if we go down to the player profile, and virtual currencies, got nothing in there. So I don't think we actually set anything up on those. Um, user, user inventory, we haven't set anything up with that yet. But that is simple getting into uh, PlayFab. Um, and just show you what it actually looks like on the other side. We'll open up PlayFab real quick. Okay, so here is PlayFab. We'll go into players, and there we go. There's the one that we just created, and then the other two that I always create um, when I'm starting to, when I was testing it myself. So we'll click on that one. We'll see that the username, the password, click this to get the email. Uh, if we want to do a send password re uh, reset email, it's right here. Uh, we can always change the password from right there. Um, virtual currencies. It did actually deposit some, so we did set up a player's coins. Um, it's probably just not in the right spot that I was looking for. Um, I don't actually remember where it's located in here. I thought it was right in here. Um, but that's okay. We'll be able to get it. We'll still be able to get that stuff when we need to. So that's going to be it for this one. We got a simple login scene with a register, so they'll be able to register in. Obviously, this is not what the final product will look like. We'll spice it all up, put some graphics on there, make it look all pretty. 
but for right now this is going to do for just testing purposes. Um, if you like the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below, and I'll see you guys next time.